say I had a joy for you, Key. Nah, yeah, you know? We're here again, Ball Hit and the Dread Podcast. If you get free time, make sure you check out music from the young warrior there, the one called Art Harchi. Link to the music in the description, serious words. Um, also, if you get free time, make sure you check us out at ConsciousTea.com for your cultural power. Truly appreciate everyone been supporting the things from those times till now, right? Fire is something we need to really clear up the air on and reason about right here. And it's this whole notion that um this 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 cool gangster culture, right? It's, it's this idea that's pumped on people every day that, you know, um these irresponsible, emotionally immature, non vision elements is something that one should inspire destructive forces uh, all right on all aspects is something that one should aspire to and it counters a more productive aspect in regards to family and i'm here to say that the, the fathers and the family people the real gangsters out there really, the ones really. up there running around with the tight pants hanging out there behind with everything going on the joker smokers you know so can we check it in a minute, you know? I mean, I see no family man I get an eye like both you and respect in the street and the street cred. Cause if me, if, if me, I think both it the right way, then the man, if I get the street cred, I'm supposed to be the man where I take care of my family and, and I uphold a structure where we know so I can benefit the future. But yet still, the man them where I get some street cred or some man where I die, so some tight pants man where some man where I drink liquor every day and I smoke, smoke every day and them now have no farm a structure towards them life. But them people, eh, and them man the people are respect and I say, yeah man, yeah man, ratings, but the man them where I really take care of them family, them will overlook them and call them all nerd and them they even know say yet yeah, still, yet yeah, still, you yeah, gonna end up a work for a nerd. You see me I say? So it's like a backwards of people, them I think for ya. Why is the family man not praised and honored like the gangster? What I don't want to say gangster, could it not gangster still fight? You know, it's just kind of they in they in that realm, they in that culture. Yeah, but, but but for the clarification, we just I would just have said that just just so people yeah, can't overstand you know, it's the kind of overstand what's going on in a sense, and it's just like um, the way our culture is set is is topsy turvy in regards to what we praise and what we promote. Now within the music, right, and even even within the media and our own media, I just think it's very backwards to give all this attention to those who go to prison or those who come home from prison. We have going away party. <laughs> we have going away party and we have coming home party. And when we speak about prison, I'm not speaking about those who are like full blown and just like they're really doing their thing and they get caught up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people out here doing foolishness, doing destructive things and whatever, right? It's like a bag of honor. Why is it a bag of honor going to prison when it should be a bag of shame? You just been, especially if you have a family, you have just been removed from your family. You're putting more pressure on your significant other to take care of the kids. Not only are they missing out on the income, hopefully you are providing some form of income to assist, but they're missing out on what you're supposed to do in regards to emotional support, uh, the guidance, and, and just helping develop your child to be a, a emotionally stable being that they themselves can go out in society and do great things. So what the heck is so cool about a man uh, misbehaving like a child and being removed from society. And let's clear the air. Yes, some people are uh, illegally uh, locked up because we have a wicked uh, prison system at the same time. But a lot of people support the prison system because by your actions, you're doing everything that in your power to get in the system. And we praise that. You know, it's, yeah. a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a sick, if I ask a sick, backwards culture where a person who is irresponsible is cooler than a person who is responsible yeah because you're, 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 you're the funny and the funny part about that what they say is it's like there is something early you know when, when i go on the expound pan after after this stuff because it, it literally more 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 difficult and more harder to accomplish a family life be a man even accomplish a family mean, life but yet still yet still we just don't check it now. Who are really get the praises and who are reap the benefit of so called street cred? Because we really I check this thing in a fire. The ones them now give no, them now give, give no farmer owed to a man who really put him thing together and say, all right, this is the direction. Because if you know it, the culture is so backward that you now grow up with a mother and a father, people start troubling you with your privilege. 
what kind of backward culture that that's that supposed to be something we're celebrating so you, you grew up with a mother and a father and then you have a develop a structured development which is a natural one and not an artificial development because don't 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 feel no way but when a youth grew up with a single mother that is an artificial development if a youth ever grew up with a father alone that is an artificial development because you need the hormone of estrogen and testosterone for really balance out one another and if a woman I go start exert certain force and certain ragged force and certain rough force that I go be a pseudo form of testosterone. Not saying a woman can be rough, you know, don't get me wrong. But yet still, the natural role of a father is supposed to be assertive, that assertive vice in our whole soul. We just balance out certain things when time a mother can deal with it. Likewise, when time a father can deal with certain part of the thing, the, the, the mother can balance it out. But yet still the ones up to a trouble a youth say youth privilege. And them thing I go on and they get it right now because if a youth should do to the youth, them they even used to the fact say a mother and a father supposed to live in the same household. Man can all ask all you a question when you tell all a youth say you married a man I ask you if 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 you live with your wife. Just think about the meditation. Well, fire. <laughs> let me um <laughs> let me just touch on this real quick. We have to understand perspective and environment, right? So I remember my brother told me a story. He was showing his kids documentary Hoop Dreams. It's on the 90s. They follow some kids around for basketball in Chicago. So uh, my brother's kids always grew up like sub suburb vibes in a bubble. And just to show you the perspective of environment, right, and expectation. So while they were watching the documentary, there was an issue within the household where the father left, right? Well, in that environment now, uh, they were unique that the father was even in the house because majority, this is South Side Chicago, so majority of people are kind of, you know, the man children were so distraught and they couldn't put their finger on it because all they know is father in the house and their peers have father in the house they don't know about no fatherless household on the next flip side like you were saying i remember a student asked me one day say yo hi is you married i said yeah the man asked me if I live with the man asked me if I live with my wife Right. So it's just that vibe in regards to, yeah, it's funny to a certain extent, but it's sad because based on his environment and expectation, one, he's not used to seeing uh, cohabitation in regards to, um, uh, I mean, people living together. And also, if there there is a, I guess, some form of commitment, the man's not necessarily there consistently. Right. And he's just he's just expressing what he's been exposed to. Now, what I'm saying is that. um as this escapism vibe that we use, which is a, 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 we love to do this and blame the system. And I'm a man that lick fire on the system. So yes, there is a certain uh, role the system plays, but how much, how much of a role do you allow it to play in your life? And what are you doing to counter the system? Right. And uh, what we have to do is we can blame all social structures, all everything. You can blame the school. You can blame everything. But no one tends to blame their household. No one blames. No one wants to talk about what's going on in their house. What the heck is going on in your house that we're producing irresponsible, task averse, emotionally unintelligent, weak minded children? Why? What, what's going on in the house where a person say, you know what, right now, yo, I just want to do without any responsibility. I don't want to work. I'm just going to smoke drink breed and and we praise that and the thing so backwards now that women <laughs> listen to this now this is reality and you don't want to like it check this the thing so backwards now that women right don't know what to do with a man who's responsible they only know how to deal with a childish irresponsible man that they know themselves already they're not going to get anything from but then when they, and then when it's, it's it's like it's like a weird oxymoron they know already they saw already the outcome of dealing mm, with this type of person complaint. but this is the type of person that they want and when they do what they know that they're gonna do they complain and they want to have all this nigga but next but on the flip side you have a man who's extremely responsible right would be a great mate a great father they don't want that and i all think right. i think i think i'm not no psychologist i think though deep down on the subconscious is that they want the drama stability is boring for a lot of black people yeah, yeah they don't want it they're like listen no, nothing <laughs> know it because nothing <laughs> know it because i watch the levels nothing know it and that are the things same way you know because background master put put some thought and thought and i wait that we're not even overstanding you know because when i as what they say all right i doubt i know 
I go see all of you to them pants drop way down, way down, and him knee, and them thing there. And, and, and she find that attractive. And then when she find that attractive now, because him have some man around there, so when she walk with all him now, him say, yo, yo, I go on road, boy. And, and, and 10 people start yelling him now, she feel good now because she can't pass all the corner. And a man say, yo, I such and such girl that, you know. <coughs> she feel nice in herself now. So, but when time now, Kyra, here what? Here what the reality now. For most of them girls, yeah, most of them girls were really in the street now. The, the, the nerd, the so-called nerd who have stability, who come from a household where, where people, where, where mother and a father did there, where have a structure. Them man, they had a rebound man them for them type of girl. Yeah. So you see when time it not work out with them type of youth. Yeah. Probably them man can be the stepfather or, or them man can be the man where them make a rebound with and say, yeah, we're up in a life now. And then, then them start treat all in with them type of social norms that them have. So it's like me I tell you, so it, it, it's so topsy turvy that me I wonder how I really are going because the thing was supposed to be good. The, the youth them were actually put in the effort and the man them who are dealing with the family farm type of structure overlooked and the ones just 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 brush them off the same way for some little ones there. Some little wannabe paper soldier gangster way. Get the, first and foremost, them man they not even come out of them zone. Because the average youth who's supposed to be a gangster do not leave his zone. So what would he know? What type of knowledge would he acquire? Being in that same place, not going over that block, just sticking in the same exact zone. That simply means that if him go over two hours across the road, that's the next country for him. While the youth with a so-called nerd now have, have a broad and knowledge base where they can get some type of knowledge. And no, sorry, them can come share it now. And because them as aggressive as them type of gangster youth are where most of these girls now look for, them end up start tell us them soft. And what is soft? Because normal now is soft based for based upon the culture, you know. But and that means I get to overstand. But you're going to think for you. There's nothing more gangster than achieving a goal. You get what I'm saying? So I know people that would be clean, right? And anytime they put the pressure on people, like judgment, you know. So don't get it twisted. It's just, it's just certain elements and certain energy is put in a more positive way and it's not a recklessness because they have a goal and they have a mission and they have responsibilities right they can't be going out carrying on with people and arguing with people and fighting and they got to take care of their family and kids so just that alone <clears throat> if a man to leave his house right now on a friday that and go fight me you're a joker fight something wrong with you because me as a grown man any altercation i get in with people is gonna be everybody gonna get in trouble yo. we just not gonna go home and nobody gonna get in trouble so I'm going to risk my freedom. I'm going to risk taking care of my family. Who's going to take care of my daughter if I'm gone? Because I'm arguing with no next man. Their psychology messed up. But I won't go back. I want to go back to this whole gold thing fight. There is nothing. Can't no man. A lot of these people you see simple. These people are rough and tough around the edges. Because there is nothing harder in life than achieving a goal. All the struggle, all the ups and downs, all the grit you have, all the bounce back you have to do. And these are the people that should be praised. We need to praise parents, real parents, because you have a kid don't mean you're a parent, right? Real parents that deal with the daily grind to do their best to provide an environment for their child to nurture them, that they're emotionally stable beings, that they can go out and do great things in society. You get what I'm saying? I'm not talking about parents buying stuff because we're in a parenting crisis right now in the world. Parenting is, yeah, I'm going to provide my child with everything I didn't have. Not game, not intelligence, material things that the system told you to buy. So now all you're doing is grooming a self-entitled consumer that can't deal with no, 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 <laughs> can't deal with no type of uh, struggle in life, you know, but that's a different type. But yeah, but back to this thing right now is that this whole celebrating this gangster thing is sickening fire, whether from the music and within the community you give too much attention to losers the man is unemployed the man is un and uneducated the man is un don't have no ambition and when i say educated i'm not talking about because you went to school that means educated fire so we want to clear the air with that the man just dear taking up space abusing substances abusing everybody around him, using them. And this is the person you want to praise. Because remember, when the child sees this, they gravitate towards this because they say, all right, then, this man over here doing this thing. Well, nobody paying this man no mind. But this man over here, this is the man getting all the attention. So I need to get on the attention line because human, humans want attention. 
And we don't understand how the attention we provide to people shapes the culture. The, 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 the loser, the, the I, fire, I see it over and over again. Full blown losers, yo. And maybe some people don't like when I use the terminology loser, but hey, what they say if the cat fit wear it. Yeah, man, in a straight fast. You're a grown loser, man, man. You're a grown man with your pants below your waist, fire. 30, 35, 40 with your pants below your waist. You got tattoo on your face. You don't have no job. You don't have no income. You're going to be 30, 35, 40 years old. You don't have no income. And somebody's supposed to respect you. But these are the people who get the most respect. How is that? Ah, uh, I watch your levels now. To all me, have it, you know, me, have it, say, majority of the people, them monks are in our culture, we are emotional psychopaths. That's what I call it. I call them emotional psychopaths because check levels. It's like, Every single thing were negative. I want worship that that the negativity. Because if you check levels in a fire, at the same thing, even think about the music, at the same thing in you know, the music, in a way. A man, a man, we have him on a family, but because him knows that this is the thing we sell and the culture give in to this. I just think about a bungalow girl, same way. Even when him have him family and him wife and him youth, them same. I'm not think about uplifting, upholding a family. Destructive stuff. force, culture, culture, family. And then, and then you have the youth, them now, because check levels, you know. In a place even like Jamaica, most youth gravitate towards certain gangster artists because we don't say a dance hall culture. The dance hall, allow dance hall venue, but the current state, what them call it. See? No, most youth are gravitate towards them type of youth that we are supposed to gangster because when them see them on all them Instagram and them see all certain things, them can't see them youth, they are rolling with all 20 men and them see them are rolling some bike and some car and thing and it just look attractive. But yet still now, a man who deal with the roots and culture, who they find a goal, who they find a longer mission, where he knows he can sustain certain things and he can build up himself. Now, you know not be like the youth that <laughs> but the roots and culture. Fire, hold on. Yeah, say, yo, respect to the one Damien Riley ever too called looks so deceiving, yeah, on the story. <laughs> we need to listen to that, yeah. Right? But reality, check it. You said a key point in regards to long-term instability. Now, um... People not really on that try too tough. And the man, because remember the long-term thing, people don't really see the success. You get what I'm saying? And the man, what happened with the Joker Smokers now is that they can fake their success with nothing not going on. And people love that. People love the hype. You know, but as I said, culturally, we need to redefine manhood. We need to redefine gangster, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just we as a coach have to take more responsibility um, for our actions. The blame, the escapism with the system is not working. We need to, as I stated just before, redefine uh, what is cool and what's not cool. The gangster thing is not cool. Prison is not cool. Jail life is not cool. We need to stop praising prison culture because this is the thing with prison culture, right? And I want to clarify. I'm not talking about people who are, are illegally... Uh, withheld like you're innocent i'm not talking about those i'm talking about those out there doing foolishness destroying the community one you're taken away from your family all right no income no nurture two it's a burden on your family for the most part right you lose your ability to earn when you come out your earning capability is very limited putting more stress on you and your family and pushing you more towards to do something that's going to put you back in there so what's cool about that cycle what in God's earth is cool about being around other men all day, being told what to do? Now, some people love prison. Why? Because there's no responsibility. Three hots in a cot. You don't have to pay no bills. Some people like being around men, you know? Let's just clear the air. You must be. Because from them when they get out, they have to go back ASAP. Yeah, but they're not. And I, I, in, in the midst of the reason, the same way. So check out the levels. What are the difference between certain ends and prison? I mean, I see the difference because when you go up on the ends, that's a straight man. I just be a man up on the end. <laughs> yeah. so, 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 so check the levels. I just see him. Is, are, are the mental, is a mental thing in a fire? Because are you, are you used to, you know, because, all right, you have the system lock you down. You don't want to be a man. Nah, they're not progressive. Then you come out. You don't want to be a man. Nah, they're not progressive. And it's the same type of cycle. So you see, when time I want certain ones that blame the system, they're not really over as what it is, you know, because, all right, first and foremost, as they say, we burn the system to the ground. But then you have a point where you cannot blame the system no more for you because when a youth go pick up all one little metal tool now and say I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot all the youth for some little stupidness and then you now start, you can't blame the youth. 
Oh, you mean fire? Then check how oh, I can't blame the youth when the so-called poorest country them on earth, so-called poorest country them on earth don't have the highest crime rate. Then how oh, if you can't blame the system? Then that simply means say it's not a systematic thing make him just go shoot somebody. It have to be more than that. And as they say, people start neglect the family structure. Them now looking to say the, the, the impact what the family structure might have into why him go kill somebody. Where him did want make him did what make him so aggressive. Him so aggressive because him probably never ever get enough attention. And the only way this him can get attention, him have to be a so-called killer. And when him start kill people, you now people start kill him and say, Yo, my general, why yo my G? Because of fear. Ah, yeah. The fear, I tell you, it, 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 it's, it's, it's as emotional, we are emotional ah, psychopaths within this culture. You brought a key point. The whole point of gangs is they they take the place of lack of attention and lack of nurture from your family. That's the source of the gang. That's why you can persuade. It's not hard to do. It's like pimping in a sense, but you're pimping men. Instead of exploiting, a, uh, like you exploit a woman, send her out to do sexual things to get the money back. You control young men because what they're looking for, attention. Now, in their mind, is like, yo, I'm really yearning for this attention fight. I'm really yearning for something from a male figure. So you know what? Whatever this man tell me to do, I'm going to do. So it's not the action they're thinking about. It's the reaction from the person that told them to do it. So as long as we have no family structure, gangs will always be prevalent because people are always looking for attention. Now, social media has kind of taken the place of some gangs in the sense that you can get that that shot of attention, but you, you don't get the human interaction. If a child's been been yearning his whole life for somebody to tell him like, yo, great job, or you know, you one of us to be a part of something. You never been a part of no family. You never had that environment because the cool man is not around. <laughs> Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool that celebrated wasn't around. So the person, unfortunately, the predator, that's the next aspect. The predator takes that up and exploits it and gets you to do stuff for their benefit that's detrimental to you. All right, fire. There, there, there. Touch our next wicked point again because I watch the level. I'm gonna share a story with, with, with people. I know because enough time would even show people about them side of life. You know, but I would say we know about the two sides of the world, them, right? I will live in the two sides of the world, them. See, in the underworld and both that bro, the above ground world. Seen growing up in the ghetto, them, I, I youth, a particular youth, maybe never call him name, nursery, but a particular youth, he used to say in his self, he used to say himself because. I'm the one who play some football and just, you know, the school out and just do things. And we supposedly go to good school and we have a stable house. But you know, say, the moment that you would say an eye with a gun, the moment him say an eye with a gun, him automatically give her respect. And, and I start looking to myself. From them time, my brain start to develop more and more. And I will start to with nothing I go down certain part. You know? Because the moment this you would say an eye with a gun, him give her the utmost respect. And I said, well, you may never know, say, I saw the man stay. I mean, I say, so this is where it take for you give a little youth respect. As a bigger youth, this is where it take for you give a youth respect because you see him with a gun now. So automatically, him prove to you, say, him tough because him have a gun in him hand. But yet still, if him never have the gun in him hand, you would attribute the soft, a soft characteristic towards that particular youth. So it just show you how messed up we are in the mind. And a them thing that you, a them thing that you, them I see because check levels. When you grow up in a ghetto, nobody can go around this. When you grow up in a ghetto, every little majority of little youth them want to heal the gangster. Them want to heal them man. Yo, what go on them? Them like to get the heal because if them are recognized by a gangster, them don't think say them have a place in the community. And this is a truth and nobody don't want to talk about even a place like Jamaica. What make you feel like the crime yeah, rates yeah. are high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, if it's sad. Yeah, it's just a um. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> yeah, we need to do better as a people. And I said, everyone out there who's promoting um this whole culture that's detrimental, because it's a culture that's detrimental at the end of the day. You know, it's, it's, it's super detrimental. Anyone who is promoting this culture, hopefully you heard this and you can rethink about what you show attention to, because what you show attention to fuels and it and, and it shapes the behaviors of the younger generation, right? And if you want to change that, we have to change to what we give attention to. I'll give you a simple thing. You can go to a sporting event for high school. You got 5,000 people there, right? But that parents' night, you maybe have 12 parents. And the 12 parents that come are kids that's already on honor roll. 
It's not the parents that need to come for the kids that you actually need to talk to. So you, what are you putting the emphasis on? I remember younger, like, you know, a kid dancing. It's just, oh, this big sexy kid's dancing or the kid that fought all the time gets all the attention. You're grooming people to do these things, to act in behaviors for mindless entertainment. And those who are doing things that have long-term benefit that's beneficial to their immediate family, to the collective family, because remember, we don't see ourselves as a collective family, are either sometimes criticized, which is another destructive force. Critic People criticize positive behavior within our culture more than they do negative behavior. And this, Fox, is, a, this is a full blown Fox. fact and it's backwards, right? The man who graduated and you know is doing stuff like no one pays him any mind, right? The one that's there in his house with the kids, like they really don't. They don't pay him any mind. And some, depending on, and if we're truthful, some have disdain towards them. I remember we had a powwow with the students one time because we had some real conversation. A student opened up and said he was he is jealous of people who have their father because he doesn't have a father. And I think people take that into adulthood. And this may sound weird, but listen to what I'm saying. A lot of these women purposely deny the children access to their father because it's like some weird jealous vibe. They don't want the child to have a father because they didn't have a father. Yeah, cause I just continue them a continue a cycle, cause them 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 them. Me just see them as as me say a emotional psychopaths, for ya, cause and that that and that the 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 part them really a stick pan way, because me really realize say the culture we have, cause people know we need probably we need to tap in all the whole reason in a culture even more importance a culture, because some people see certain things and feel like say it does happen this one way, you know. But you know much you know much years of conditioning it take for a man can risk for people can respect. Some youth and now they're not progressing. Nothing fire. Wait, that's a man. But hey, I want to stretch out the argument, right? But this 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 one part here I really want to touch on before we leave is that family life better than the street life fire. So let's just clear the air on that, right? Respect to all the family men out there. I never said it's easier. <laughs> that's why most people avoid it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we're dealing with people, you're gonna go through the ups and downs with your ladies, ups and downs with your children and all that, right? But within all that. You know, I'm not talking about no abusive relationships or nothing where there's no hope. I'm talking about somebody you could build with. But the family life is not only better for you. It's better for collective because it's just a de development. And that's what we're dealing with. A lot of these things now are promoting anti-family. Come like if we had a, we had an anti-family culture because everything they're promoting is anti-family. It's individual. Because I think I hear some I hear some people say certain things. So I just say, like, so what's the future supposed to look like if nobody not dealing with each other? Everything is anti-family and it's just a vibe where we as a culture, you need to stop giving all this attention to destructive forces. You need to stop giving all this attention to unemployed men, emotionally unintelligent men, all these men that love prison, all these men that love violence. You're a destructive force, Fire. I don't know what else to say. You get what I'm saying? And we just need to, we, because what's happened is that the way the culture is set right now is that wrong is right and right is wrong you get what i'm saying and until we have that shift good luck yeah, you know i don't get it. i see i see people like how you how is a woman you gonna walk down the street with a man with his pants below his waist because yeah. i ask my wife i play around sometimes in the house and i'll do it and do that wobble walk right and she just laughed but like how how does that <laughs> look how am i have my pants below my waist with my daughter walking in the street them find it attractive. You, you get what I'm saying? With my kid, I'm a few with my daughter. As supposed to be the example, as a man, I'm gonna have my pants below my waist, wobbling in the street. And, and I, I don't I, work. I, I, you know the funniest part about, about, about everything with the just even said to you know something with me just I meditate while there I said that a man put extra effort in something when I benefit him. Because <laughs> because because just check level levels of the level uh, of people a man I walk with all them pants below all them waist supposedly. It take time, man. You, you, you know how much style and swag him have to use even curl up all him puts him can get out a pattern now for start walk so when time him pants are drop off sure. and it does and it does show me now say you see the, in this world where, where the people in my worship this the, the, this false world where things not not pan out right people in my worship i will have an extra effort i go into it because if even a man go be a like youngster you know much effort him i go go, go through for go say i go purchase one gun him i go around this i go make the link there for the one of them thing for what 
so if it's even even yeah. them even going to the fast lane and start making money for you, it's like a minimum wage, you know, because you see the amount of effort where a man put in for say I'm gonna sell a, a key at this or I'm gonna sell this or I'm gonna do this. You know much a minimum wage that you know because I'm gonna spend 24 hours and I get ready and I prepare probably all I'm life to be a waste man, you know. A waste man. Yeah. They're right. <laughs> Right now, if I we burn out all lazy men right now, yeah, all lazy men right now because and and the women that support lazy, all lazy men, woman too, and lazy <laughs> women we burn you out still because I don't know how you have a man in your house that don't work and he playing video games and don't contribute. It's not even like a balance. Say he on hard times, right? But like you know, he deal with the kids and he cook the balance out the thing. If I am pre a certain thing, is men in the house they don't do nothing, yeah. They don't do no contribution in modern time. That can't work for us. So we burn them out the same way. We burn out lazy women. We burn out everybody that promote the destructive aspects of the culture. Yeah, family over everything, them. man. Yeah, family over everything. Respect <laughs> to all the fathers out there. Real talk. Listen to this. Respect to all the fathers out there. Respect to all the mothers out there that take care of the kids. And with all the different elements, they're trying to attack your family and hold it and give your kids proper instruction, nurture, and love that they can grow up to be emotionally stable people and people to go out here in the world and do great things so we give thanks to you same way as i said with the rest of the destructive forces their judgment because as i, I don't know if I, I don't deal with no lazy people yeah i don't deal with no lazy people i don't deal with no no uh people avoiding irresponsible talking about your yeah, gangster life a joker smoker believe you nah, i don't it nah, i don't fire card the, the plain field i've lived like, right now right now i tell the attitude if we think more i call it a fire the plain field Thing backwards, yeah, they, yo. Uh, unbalanced. And I want, I want to say one more thing. Respect everybody dealing with progression, because I know within our culture sometimes is that the more progressive you are, the more fight that you get. And I'm telling everyone there to just hold forth, stand firm, and stay focused. Because unfortunately, you have to understand, due to the ignorance of our people, we don't tend to support people who's dealing with progress, but but to tend to tear them down. And the person who's dealing with non-progression, we tend to lift them up. Right, yeah, some people get discouraged by that, so don't feel no way. Fire, yeah. we give thanks for the reason, we give thanks for everybody supporting Ballhead and the Dread from those times till now. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain.